Welcome back to The Reading Corner with Mrs. G. For more great stories, subscribe here and give me a thumbs up for like it. Today we're doing Clifford's birthday party. Do you enjoy the stories of Clifford the Big Red Dog, including Clifford's Pals and Clifford's Good Deeds? Well, check back in The Reading Corner with Mrs. G for more great stories. It's almost my birthday. In just a few more days, it will be my birthday. What do you like to do on your birthday? I remember my mom used to make a cake for me in the shape of a heart. And then we taught my daughters how to make a cake in the shape of a heart. I still love my chocolate cake. So what do you like to do? Do you get presents for your birthday? Are you appreciative of the gifts you receive? Well, let's find out what happens on Clifford's birthday and what kind of gifts he gets. Hello. My name is Emily Elizabeth, and this is my dog, Clifford. Last week was Clifford's birthday. We invited his pals to a party. Mom had ice cream and cookies. We put up decorations. When it was time for the party to begin, nobody was there. Where could they be? We went looking for Clifford's pals. They were all together at the playground. I asked them why they hadn't come to the party. Jenny said they wanted to come, but they didn't have very good presents for Clifford. Not good enough for such a special friend. I told them not to be silly. Clifford would like whatever they got for him. They all ran home to get their gifts, and everyone came to the party. First, we opened the gift from Scott and his dog Susie. Scott had blown it up as much as he could. Clifford blew it up some more. We really had a ball. Then Clifford pulled out the stopper that was a mistake. The next gift was from Sam and his dog Lenny. It was a piñata. We hung the piñata from a tree. There were treats inside for all the dogs. Clifford was supposed to break the piñata with a stick. He gave a couple of good swings. And the piñata broke open. The dogs liked the treats, but we decided not to give Clifford any more piñatas. We all laughed when we saw the gift from Jenny and her dog Flip. It was a little small for Clifford, but it was just right for his nose. Clifford hates having a cold nose. Alicia and Nero's gift was a toy dog that talked. Feed me. Let's play. I'm your buddy. Clifford thought it was cute. He went to pet it. Uh-oh. They don't make toys the way they used to. It was time for ice cream when Cynthia and her dog Basker arrived. They brought Clifford a gift certificate from the Bow Wow Beauty Parlor. He could get a free shampoo and haircut. We each had our own idea of how Clifford might look after the beauty parlor. Take a look at those. I like Clifford the way he is. I thanked Cynthia for the gift, but I slipped the certificate to Scott and Susie. I knew she would like it. Then came the cake. Clifford was surprised. He was even more surprised when his family popped out. He hadn't seen his mother and father and sisters and brothers for a long time. Clifford 
liked the presents his friends gave him, but having his family and friends with him was the best present of all. Having your family and your friends is the best present of all. Happy birthday, and we'll see you next time in the, in the Reading Corner with Mrs. G.